Day two is through at the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate. Dylan Vazano to help break down the second day of action in the tournament so far from the Sevierville Golf Club. We again begin on the women's side of the equation. After one day of action, tied for first place was both Sanford and Eastern Kentucky at five over. That is no longer the case. Windy conditions covered the course. Sanford shot six over in the second round. Eastern Kentucky shot 15 over. So they are now nine strokes back, sitting in third place, jumping Jumping into second, how about Marshall? They also shot six over. So the thundering herd will go into the final day, only four strokes back of the leader, Samford. Tennessee Tech, the host, they dropped from fourth place into a three-way tie for fifth with both Lee University as well as Carson Newman. Northern Kentucky is currently sitting in fourth place. Well, with Samford in first, you'd have to think, well, there must be a lot of Samford Bulldogs atop the leaderboard. You would indeed be correct. Three of the top four in this tournament on the women's side are from Sanford. The only player in the field of 72, Sanford in first place at one under. That would be Emily Ulam. She shot one under once again over the first two rounds. Best score of the day was a 69. That also went to Sanford's Madeline Davis. She is currently tied for second place, Northern Kentucky's Lillian Young. From Tennessee Tech, it was the senior Lindsey Miller. She shot a three over 74. Overall is eight over for the first two rounds and a tie for 14th place in the field of 72. We shift the attention over to the men's side. Look like a two horse race after day one. That appears to be the case after day two, but the old switcheroo here at the BNI. You had Lee University at 12 under, Eastern Kentucky at eight under. Lee University stayed at 12 under after the second day with an even score. Eastern Kentucky shot 10 under, so they are six strokes ahead of Lee University in first place heading into the third day. The only other team in the field to shoot under par, that would be Carson Newman through two rounds. They are at one under in third place. How about the host Tennessee Tech? The Fighting Polk Browns charging from 10th place up to fourth place today with a combined three under. There is sure to be high drama from the men's individual perspective. Four golfers are a combine two strokes at the top of the leaderboard that is eight under a tie for first right now you have martin eliason from eastern kentucky you also have nick bns from iupui the best round of the day how about tennessee tech's own will brooks he shot a five under 67 the sophomore went seven under over the final nine holes overall he is tied for ninth place at a combined two under for the tournament final round is tomorrow the men and the women will start at the exact same time it will be 11 o'clock with a shotgun start from the Sevierville golf club